Hello YouTube! Welcome to video 2 in our Thras videos series. Last time we looked at the difference between phonemes and graphemes. Today we're going to look at different kinds of graphemes. We're going to look at graphs, digraphs and trigraphs. <gasps> Sounds challenging. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome to the classroom for video number two. Okay, so today we are going to be looking at this question. We are going to be looking at the difference between graphs, digraphs and trigraphs. That's a little hint to the answer. Okay, so that's today's content. But before that, Let's try and remember, what did we look at last time? Our question last time was, what are phonemes and graphemes? Can you remember? Let's have a quick review, okay? So first of all, a phoneme. What's a phoneme? Do you remember? Yes, a phoneme is a speech sound. That is the different sounds that we make in English. Can you remember how many phonemes are there in English? Hmm. That's right, there are 44 phonemes in English. What about a grapheme? Can you remember what is a grapheme? That's right. A grapheme is a spelling choice. That is the different letters that we use to represent sounds. So we have different letters to show the sounds in English. Let's have a quick example just to review. Do you remember this example? We have a shark, we have a station, and we have a chef. Now if we were to look at the phoneme, the phoneme for all three sounds is sh. But the grapheme is sh in shark, ti in station, and of course ch in chef. So you can see the phoneme is sh for all of them. But there are three different graphemes sh, ti, ch. Okay? Right, let's move on to today's different question. Today we're looking at different kinds of grapheme. Can you remember, a grapheme is a spelling choice. But there are different kinds of graphemes. Oh, sounds challenging. Today we're going to be looking at these three. We're going to be looking at a graph, a digraph, and a trigraph. On the thrust chart, we have all of these three different graphemes. But what are they? I will give you some hints. Okay, so the first hint that we're going to be looking at, let's have a look. So, graph, digraph, trigraph. Hmm, what's the difference? Here's a hint. One, two, three. Hmm. Now remember, all of them are graphemes, so they're all spelling choices. But my hint is one, two, three. Can you see the graph is the same color as the one? The digraph is the same color as the two. And the trigraph is the same color as the three. So that's my hint. Graph is one, digraph is two, and trigraph is three. Remember, they're all graphemes, so they're all spelling choices. Hmm. Let's have a look at some examples. Oh, lots of words, lots of words, lots of words. Oh, lots of pictures. 
So in the graph column, we have cat, dog, sun, gate. In the digraph column, we have shark, thumb, cheese, and snail. And in the trigraph column, we have bridge, door, watch, and lure. Hmm, do you see anything? That's right. You can see in the graph column, all of the graphemes have one letter. K as in cat is letter C. D as in dog is letter D. S as in sun is letter S. And G as in gate is letter G. One letter graphemes is a graph. Digraph column. Sh as in shark. S H th, as in thumb T H Z as in cheese S E A as in snail A I If we now look in the trigraph column we can see three letter graphemes J as in bridge D G E O as in door O-O-R Ch as in watch T-C-H and Ur as in lure U-R-E Three letter spelling choice is called a trigraph Did you get it? Let's just look at that one more time, okay? So all of them, a graph, a digraph and a trigraph are graphemes they're all spelling choices. But a graph, like k as in cat, is a one letter spelling choice. And digraphs, just like a as in snail, are two letter spelling choices. And trigraphs, for example, j as in bridge are three letter spelling choices. Okay, let's look at one more example on the thrust chart. Let's look at a new phoneme box, a new word box on the thrust chart. Let's look at the aw box. For example, we have a fork, we have a ball, we have sauce, we have a saw, and of course we have door, which we looked at before. So if we're looking at the different graphs, digraphs and trigraphs in the all box, what can we see? Have a little look. So we have fork, ball, sauce, saw and door. Now, how many graphs are there? How many digraphs are there? How many trigraphs are there? Let's try and sort it. Well, if we're looking at graphs, of course, we only have one graph in this phoneme box. We only have aw as in ball, okay? If we're looking at digraphs, so two letter spelling choices, we have quite a lot. We have fork, sauce, and we have saw. So we have aw as in fork, aw as in sauce, and aw as in saw. Of course, fork, the digraph is OR. In sauce, the digraph is AU. And in saw, the digraph is AW. So that leaves just one trigraph. As we looked at before, OR as in door. And we have the trigraph OOR in this case. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you understood everything that we looked at. If you want to go back and watch one more time, that's okay. Join me for the next video in video number three, where we're going to be looking more at the thrust chart. We're going to look at row one of the consonant phonemes and graphemes. Okay, back to me now on the other screen. Wow, so now from video one, you know what the difference between phonemes and graphemes are. And from this video, you found out the difference between graphs, digraphs, 
and trigraphs. Wow. Join us for the next video where we're really going to look more at the thrass chart and its different sounds in row one. Okay, see you next time. Goodbye.